In summary, when you're curating as a learner facilitator, you need to first figure out the learning objectives you wish to achieve. These could be knowledge acquisition, learning a life skill, understanding emotions, dispositions, or whatever else. Then you need to consider the pedagogic profile of your learners in terms of their type of intelligence, their ability, their learning style, and so forth. Once you have these two things in place, then you can curate appropriate learning resources using the strategies we discussed. Algorithmic filtering, social and personal filters, finding appropriate open educational resources, or looking at MOOCs. While curating, using an organizing tool like Digo will make your life easy. Once you have organized your curated resources, you then need to add a layer of meaning that helps your learners connect the curated resources with their context. Finally, you need to figure out the most elegant way of presenting the learning resources you have curated, where your objective could be to use these resources to build an online learning community where conversation and collaboration lead to deeper comprehension. All this is not to say that curation is a novel concept. Teachers and other learner facilitators have always been curators. Your grandmother probably told you stories that she had curated over the years. What has changed is the sheer volume of content that is now readily available online. And this is what makes learning the art of curation, especially in the context of education, imperative. Of course, this implies you will need to learn another skill. Curating appropriate resources will also consume time. And if you are a teacher, then curation will add to your workload and make that ever important goal, completing the syllabus on time, even more challenging. Yet, the upside of curation, enriching the learning experience for different types of learners by including learning resources that suit their ability and style, making learning more engaging and deepening understanding. Such positive outcomes are what make the effort that goes into curation highly worthwhile. I hope you found this course useful and interesting and it has set you on the path of becoming a master curator. Have fun curating. Thank you and good luck. Mm -hmm.